So I'm doing the red wine test. Um, here's my red wine. Here's me. So you put a bit in your mouth and you squish it around and you spit it out. Presenting a nice bottle of Sacred Hill Cabernet Merlot by Di Bertoli and 2008, of course, it's been aged for a few years before this experiment. <laughs> a brand new bottle, so I've just opened it. I'm going to shake it to get a consistent, you don't normally shake red, but for the purpose of the experiment, I think it's good to shake it and if there is any fibres or whatever in the wine, to balance it out. Give it a second to come to. So the reason I'm doing this experiment is to find out if I have more gallons or if it's even true. And if you do, when you drink, well you don't drink it, you put the red wine in your mouth and then you spit it out into your bathtub. Some people do it in the toilet or a sink. I've just got a nice white bathtub with some water in it. And you flush the wine around in your mouth and your gums and then you spit it out into the tub. And if it moves, then you have this virus or bacteria that is alive in your body. So here I go. I'm just going to put this in my mouth. I don't really see anything alive. <laughs> I think it's just the natural uh, dilution of the wine into the bath water, but could be that these little particles are back to Magellan's possibly. The little darker pieces. I don't know. I don't see anything alive that's worth freaking out about like one of the people's YouTube videos. Oh well, at least I have a bottle of wine to drink today.